Hello everyone, welcome to another video. And the reason why lately I didn't uh, shoot new videos is because I'm working on some custom scripts and I did want to talk a little bit uh, regarding my experiences with the custom script. So this video is for anyone who maybe thinks that he needs some Dynamo custom script or for some people who uh, also want to build uh, Dynamo scripts for somebody else. So I have some experience I just want to share with you. And this is my like a regular workflow when someone reach me and uh, if he or she uh, wants some Dynamo scripts, usually uh, here below you can see it is the some workflow uh, regarding the client side and uh, over here it's some actions that I need to take in order to go to the end, create the script and receive the payment. So you have some idea, you will uh, hopefully go to Dynamo scripts uh, slash contact and uh, there you have some form you need to fill it out and send to me. Uh, uh, between others, you will type your idea and you will set the budget. Uh, I will check if uh, I can even uh, complete that script, if I can meet your requirements. And then on my side, I will also estimate the time needed in order to complete that script. If our, our expectations match, if uh, I think that I can uh, create that script for you, then we can create some kind of the deal and uh, I will need your confirmation. I will start working on the script. Uh, it is important that you are not paying anything before the script is entirely finished. So when I finish creating that like first version of the script, I will send you a demonstration video. Uh, in that moment, when you take a look of that video, you will have a chance to add your comments, feedback, uh, to say if anything needs to be changed. And uh, I will implement all your comments. And again, I will send you the demonstration video, which show only those uh, comments uh, that I did cover that. Uh, then I will wait for your confirmation that everything is okay, that now script uh, meet all, all requirements. And I will issue PayPal invoice. Uh, hopefully you will pay that script. And basically I will in that moment send you all the files. So you will have demonstration video or Dynamo script files, my project files. And also you will have one more video, instruction video. In case that I use some uh, custom packages, I will show you how to install them. Uh, and this is like usual process and I'm not creating those scripts because I need. Uh, at the beginning I did start with the Dynamo to learn and to play and to create some scripts because I like it. So I think that Dynamo in some way increased my skills regarding the Revit. So I think it's fun. I, I love the math and behind the Dynamo it's a lot of math. So I don't know. This is my usual workflow. Again, you have your idea, we make an agreement, you don't pay anything until you see that uh, script works and it works like uh, uh, you expect it to do. Uh, in some cases, uh, you send me idea, I think, I, I will usually tell you, okay, I think that we can make this uh, and I will give you the price for that. If in the end I say, okay, I did think that uh, I can make this, but uh, actually because some of the limitation inside the Dynamo or inside the Revit, I cannot make it in the that way. You will have a choice. Uh, either you will say, okay, I don't want to proceed. Again, you don't need to pay me anything. Or you will say, okay, let's try this or let's try that. Maybe I will assess in that point uh, that I will need some more money in order to uh, invest a little bit more time on that. But again, that is, uh, we are again on the beginning. Again, you now have your idea. I will implement your new uh, ideas, uh, send you demonstration video, and so on and so on. So, what is like requirement? You will need to go to my website, or you can send me an email. But it's better to use that form. Uh, you need to specify in which Revit and Dynamo version 
uh, you want to have that script because when I create that script, for example, in the Dynamo 2.0.3, uh, it is very important that you tell me in which version you want to run that script. Maybe in some other version that script will not work uh, in the same way. Uh, you can also tell me, okay, I want to have a script which will work in the all Dynamo versions. Uh, you need to tell me how fast you need that script, uh, but I will talk a little bit regarding that uh, in the next slide. Uh, and this is very important. You should think if you can share a sample model with me, if we need to sign some NDA, that's perfectly fine for me. Um, I will not share your models with anyone. Uh, it is just uh, when I create a script, it is much better to test the script on your models, which you use every day. Uh, if I create some environment, maybe I will create a script in one level, you will have 17 levels, and that script will not work as it should be. So I think it's uh, better to uh, provide some model which you will use, and uh, I can immediately test and create uh, that script around your uh, model and environment. And finally, uh, I did have some bad experiences with the people who reach me. So if you now do not want to write hello, hi, dear, or something like that, if you don't have good manners, uh, I think you should not contact me. And I'm, I'm not doing this and creating those scripts because I must do that. I have stable income, so this is like fun. Also, this second second item is similar. So if you're writing all your emails with a caps lock, if you don't know that that is not polite, again, just skip my email address. Uh, if you need script urgent, but again, because I value my time and I don't want to uh, go in a situation when I don't uh, go to sleep for a couple of days. So also, uh, I do want to help you. I do want to create a script for you. But if you need that, uh, like, in a day or two days, again, you should not contact me. Uh, then if you think that your time is valuable, then mine also. I mean, uh, I did receive some requests for some scripts which are good, which have some purpose. And uh, the guy offered me to pay me $3. So if you think that your working hour should be bigger than mine just again do not contact me and also this is very important for me so if we start playing with this flow and you send me your idea and i give you uh, my reply on that email and you forgot to reply on that email in 15 days then you reply then i send you a new email with demonstration video and then you don't reply in a month Again, if you don't have a time to create that script and to communicate with me, again, you should not reach me. So this is, uh, those are like bad experiences, maybe for the guys who are thinking that uh, creating a Dynamo script uh, should be something on which they should base their incomes. I, I think they should know all those uh, stuff. So. You should avoid people who do this, which I uh, wrote here. For everybody else who uh, don't see them in this list, feel free to contact me. If I can help you, uh, I will be glad to do that. Thank you for watching. Bye.